In this video, I will be showing you how to see enemies better in Call of Duty Vanguard. Start by opening the Vanguard settings. Switch to the Graphics option. Open the Gameplay menu. Set your field of view between 100 and 120. A high FOV will zoom the camera out allowing you to see your sides easier. However, objects will look further away. To ensure that enemies are easy to see at a distance and to your sides, we recommend either 100 or 110. Turn off the world and weapon motion blur. Switch to the quality menu. Set texture resolution to low. Texture filter to high. Particle quality to high. Particle resolution to low. Turn off bullet impacts. Shader quality either high or low. Tessellation to either nearby or off. Level of detail distance to standard. Nearby detail to high. Distant detail to low. Clutter draw distance low. Volumetric quality level to low or medium. Set the screen space shadows to on or off. Shadow map resolution low. Sun shadow cascades low. Cache sun and cache spot shadows on. Set the spot cache size to low. Spot shadow quality to low. Particle lighting to low. Ambient occlusion to either off or static. Turn off screen space reflection. Turn off Fidelity FX. Disable anti-aliasing or set it to SMAA T2X. Turn off the depth of field. This will ensure that your screen doesn't blur when you're aimed down sight. Set the VRAM usage to either 90 or 85. Apply your settings. Switch to Display. Locate and select the Brightness option. Use the slider to set your brightness according to the guides. Ensure that the not visible section is invisible. Having the brightness set too high can make it hard to see enemies as the game will look washed out. Click back when you're happy. Switch to interface. Scroll down to the HUD elements. Ensure that the minimap shape is set to square. The best way to improve visibility in Vanguard is to use NVIDIA game filters. Game filters are fairly intensive on your graphics card and will impact your FPS. If you have an older GPU, then you will want to skip to the next section for a less intensive method. To use game filters, you will need GeForce Experience. We will have a link in the description. Once installed, you should be able to open the game overlay by pressing Alt-Z on your keyboard. Select the Game Filter option. If you get an error, then follow the tutorial linked in the description to try and fix the issue. Click on one of the numbers to select a filter profile. Expand the Add Filter drop menu and add a brightness and contrast layer. Click on the filter to open the settings. Set the exposure to 0. Contrast to 30. Highlights to between 0 and 10. Shadows to negative 30. Gamma to 0. If you can't match our exact settings, then close enough will be fine. Add a details layer. Expand the detail settings. Set the Sharpen to 32, Clarity to 2, HDR Toning to 45, Bloom to 0. If you would like to make Vanguard more vibrant, then you can add a color filter, however this is optional. Set the Tint Color, Tint Intensity and Temperature all to 0. Increase the vibrance as you would like, typically between 20 and 50 will look best. You can turn on and off the filter to see the change. If your computer is being too impacted by the color filter, then you can use the next chapter to increase digital vibrance through the NVIDIA control panel. If you would prefer a less intense filter, then select a different filter profile. Choose to add a filter. Select Brightness and Contrast. Expand the filter settings. Set Exposure to 0. Contrast to 18. Highlights to 0. Shadows between negative 20 and negative 30. Gamma to 0. Close and your game filter will now be working. Next, we will be changing how the colors on your screen look. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, then you can use the NVIDIA control panel. Alternatively, if you have an AMD GPU or play on console, then use the video chapters to skip to the section where we cover screen settings. Right-click on your desktop and open the NVIDIA control panel. Choose to Adjust Desktop Color Settings. Select the monitor you use to play Vanguard. Scroll down. 
Select the Color Channel drop menu and select All Channels. You can adjust each channel individually if you like. However, the All Channels option is easier. Either write down the current settings or take a photo in case you want to reset them later. Increase the digital vibrance. This will make colors pop more so you can see enemies easier against the surroundings. We recommend setting this between 50 and 80. If you are using game filters, then this is the only setting you will want to change. Next, increase the brightness slightly. You will want to make dark colors more visible without making the screen look foggy. I like to set mine to 52 or 55. However, it might be different for your monitor. If your dark colors are blowing out, then you might want to increase your contrast. This will increase the difference between your highlights and shadows to add more depth. Usually between 50 and 60 will work fine. Finally, you may want to increase the gamma slightly. Increasing the gamma too much can wash out the shadows and make it harder to see details in dark areas of the map. I like to have mine around the one mark. Apply your settings and close. If you don't have an NVIDIA graphics card, then you can change your monitor or TV settings to make the game look better. The first settings that you will want to change are the vibrance or saturation. Increasing either of these two options will make Vanguard more colorful. You will also want to adjust the brightness and contrast settings. Increasing brightness will make it easier to see in dark areas. An increase in contrast will add back some of the depth between highlights and shadows. Slightly increasing both the brightness and contrast should help make it easier to see enemies hiding in dark areas. Sharpen or clarity will improve the image quality and make edges sharper. Increasing either of these will help make a player more defined so you can see them easier. Finally, you may also have an option for gamma. Increasing the gamma will brighten shadows. You will only want to increase this slightly. BenQ Zowie monitors have a black equalizer setting which does a pretty good job at brightening darker areas of the map without distorting the game too much. The black equalizer can be used instead of the brightness, contrast, and gamma settings. Enemies will now be easier to see on Call of Duty Vanguard. We will also include a link to our audio guide video in the description.